effects can be recursive. Effect is recursive if the same relation is mentioned in the hypothesis and in the conclusion. So we need compound facts in order to do this. I can write, for instance, facts. There's an ancestor relation between some A and some Y if there's a parent relation between A and Y. So your parent is also your ancestor. And then I write another fact. Fact. There's also an ancestor relation between A and Y if there's a parent relation between A and Z and an ancestor relation between Z and Y. What? Well, let's look at an example. There's an ancestor relation between Eisenhower and Barack if there's a parent relation between Eisenhower and Fillmore and an ancestor relation between Fillmore and Barack. So the first pack is the base case of this recursion that says parents are ancestors. And the second fact extends the ancestor relation by one more link. But since it's recursive, it can be applied many times to extend the ancestor chain as long as I would like, walking all the way down through this tree from Eisenhower to Barack. So then we can ask, who are the ancestors of Herbert? Success means that there are some ancestors of Herbert. Delano is the parent, Fillmore the grandparent, and Eisenhower the great-grandparent. Now the output doesn't distinguish how many times this recursive fact was applied, only that there is a recursive fact ancestor that um, is satisfied with the following assignments. So it's the case that ancestor Eisenhower Herbert is a fact in our fact database because we established all these parents and then we established this recursive ancestor fact. And likewise, I could ask who are the ancestors of Barack and Herbert at the same time. So this is a compound query. Both of these must be satisfied simultaneously with the same assignment to A. So think about that for a second. The answer is, all of the common ancestors between Barack and Herbert, which is Fillmore and Eisenhower. So this means that we can ask quite rich questions about the facts that we've stated, as long as we add some recursive facts that tell us relations between individual facts. So all we had to state was who is the parent of whom, and then a general way to generalize to ancestors, and all of a sudden we can do things like sets of common ancestors. So how does this happen? What the logic interpreter is doing is it's running a search over all of the different assignments that it could give to the variables in the query in order to make sure that the query is entirely satisfied. And while it does this, it's going to have to derive new facts based on the compound facts that exist. So the logic interpreter performs a search in the space of all relations for each query in order to find all satisfying assignments to that query. So we say things like query ancestor A Herbert. And what happens when it says Delano Fillmore Eisenhower is that it's running a search over all of the different ancestor relations that it can derive by starting with hypotheses and leading to conclusions. So let's follow exactly what happens in the case that it found Fillmore is a satisfying assignment for this query. I'm just first gonna write down all of the relevant facts. So parent Delano Herbert is relevant, parent Fillmore Delano is relevant, the ancestor base case is relevant, as is the recursive case that we stated. So what happens inside the logic interpreter is that it takes this query and tries to satisfy it step by step by deriving new facts or looking up existing facts. So parent Delano Herbert is a simple existing fact. From that, it can derive ancestor Delano Herbert. How does it do that? 
It knows that parent Delano Herbert, so assignment of A to Delano and Y to Herbert, is something that's already true. And so using that same assignment, Delano Herbert gives us the fact that Delano Herbert is in an ancestor relation. Okay, so this is the first fact we've used. This is the second fact we've used, which we derived from the first fact and this first ancestor relation. Next, we use the fact that parent Fillmore Delano is true, which is just a simple fact. It's right here. And finally, in order to find that ancestor Fillmore Herbert is true, we have to use two and three, the two things that we've established before, and the recursive ancestor fact. So we have an assignment that makes this fact true, where uh, parent A is Fillmore, Z is Delano, ancestor Z is still Delano, Y is Herbert, therefore ancestor with Fillmore as A and Herbert as Y is true. And that is exactly the query we were looking for. Ancestor something Herbert. And we have Fillmore right in there. 